Hey guys, this is Tom Warren with The Verge, and we're looking at the Acer W3 uh, 8 inch tablet here, and this is running on Windows 8.1. Um, so you can see we've got it in portrait mode here. Um, Microsoft's done a few improvements here just to make it a little bit easier to use these sort of tablets. Um, so you'll get the sort of single application uh, view here, and then if you did want to use it horizontally, you could then snap apps side by side. Basically, the older limit has been removed. Um, which used to be a resolution limit um, and now you can literally just use apps alongside each other and, and, and change the, uh, the actual snap in there. Um, in terms of portrait mode, um, it doesn't always seem to, um, to rotate automatically if you've got apps open. It seems like you need to like, move the apps back into the full screen uh, to, to get that to change. Um, I don't know if that's a bug with 8.1 at the moment. Um, but Microsoft changed the store so that it's working in portrait mode, um, whereas previously it would force you into horizontal mode. So all of their apps will now fully support this, this portrait experience. Um, other than that, there's not too much to say. I mean, it's, it's standard sort of 8.1, um, but it, you know, it's obviously running on uh, these small devices that, that are going to come to market sort of late this year. On the uh, opposite end of the scale, um, we've got the uh, Toshiba KiraBook here, which has a resolution of 2560 by 1440. Um, and Microsoft basically done a few DPI changes here um, just to let sort of the, uh, the UI controls make them a little bit easier to grab um, with your finger. Now, it basically does it automatically um, depending on the screen resolution and screen size. Um, you can change it independently. Um, you can scale up to 200% or 150%, um, but you, by default it's going to be automatic. Now, what this really means is we can click into sort of stuff like Windows Explorer and you find like folders are a lot easier to, to tap on. Uh, the ribbon, a little bit uh, easier to, to manage and sort of hitting the uh, the, the X in the corner there is just a lot, a lot easier. Um, even in applications, so the, some of the Windows applications, you'll see that all the elements are slightly enlarged and it's just a little bit easier to, to sort of use um, on a touch screen. Um, now, the, this is obviously going to be dependent on app developers actually updating their apps, um, but Microsoft doing some sort of scaling there um, to improve things. And the final scenario is an 11 inch device here. So we've got an Acer Aspire F7. And this is running at 1920 uh, by 1080. Um, and basically before, um, it was really unusable basically on a desktop, um, unless, unless you had it set at a specific scale resolution. Um, obviously Microsoft shipped the Surface Pro um, at a better DPI um, scaling, but now um, it's obviously scaling correctly and by itself. So again, the elements are easy to, to click on. And a final improvement um, with, with all these uh, desktop changes is the on-screen keyboard in the desktop mode will actually be a lot bigger um, on, depending on what device you're using. So it depends on the screen size and OEMs can sort of set that. Um, but Microsoft tells us that it will um, basically be up to the computer makers to, to make the screen, uh, to make the keyboard a, a lot bigger. Um, and obviously this is uh, running at 1920 by 1080. And before it would be sort of all the way down here and kind of unusable and it's a, a lot a lot better here and that was a quick look at the uh, 8 inch uh, devices all the way up to high res displays on uh, Windows 8.1